G'day viewers, it's time to talk about The Holiday Express, The Runaway Elf. It's a new DLC for Train Sim World, just in time for the holiday season. So let's jump in. Now you'll notice that there's no timetable, but you can explore on foot if you want to. What there is, is a whole bunch of scenarios. There's the lost toys, picking up the uh, toys that are scattered around the room and taking them back to the right place. Batteries not included. So you've got to go away and uh, find some batteries and put them in the toys. North coal. Naughty Elf has put coal dust in the Christmas stocking, so you can do to return it to the fireplace. And the breakfast hub. The gingerbread house is not yet finished. Gather up the final pieces and bring it together. This one's quite different. Um, it's not about trains. It's uh, making a bit of use of the Unreal first person engine. Try hard. The elf must be captured and, f captured, sorry, and finally detained. The happiness and festivity must be maintained. And towards the end of this one, you go under a very low bridge with a very tall elf. Nothing actually happens to the elf, but yeah, it looks funny. And then there's short circuit with nearly everything back in place. There's one, just one more job to do. Plug back in the electronics, ready for the family to see in the morning. And then there's Polite of the Navigator, which is the most recent of them all. And this one, you have to do a little bit of a shunting puzzle and reform some carriages with blocks on them to spell out a message. I won't tell you what the message is. I don't want to spoil it for you. The only thing that... Um, Actually, you can probably see the message in the image for the scenario, but that's okay. I just noticed that. That's all good. But uh, the only thing I, I, I dislike about this one, the plight of the navigator, is it's all guided. But this thing is made for kids, obviously, so it's you know you don't, don't necessarily want them to figure out the puzzle themselves. But you know, let's have a quick look. So we'll just run one of these for our thing. We might do, uh, actually we'll do the lost toys because it's a little bit of a trick to the lost toys and if you don't know it, you won't get through it. The others are all pretty straightforward. Make sure your points are always set because they're not always set the way they're supposed to be. So the train is the little Ritchie Rails and it's the familiar F7 that we've had in the game before except that it's totally redone as a toy train. Eventually we'll get through the messages and we'll have a bit of a look around the room as well as the train. Sooner or later. Get used to the Christmas music, by the way. It's just uh, there. So what we've got here is an F7A and B unit and they're well quite likely the ones from Clinchfield but they're redone as Ritchie Rails and we've got a bunch of presents on flat cars. The whole thing is living room, oh here's our mate and of course we do have collectibles, these things, the uh, reindeer coins. Now this is a early access version that I got from Dovetail for free to show this off, so it might be slightly different when you get it. So this is our protagonist, who uh, is getting up to all sorts of mischief around Christmas that we need to resolve as players. So let's go and jump in the train, or as it says, climb up and sit in the big seat. Now the whole thing is set up to be as easy as possible, so the doors are already open, most of the controls don't do anything, you can still turn on the dash lights, and you can turn, open the windows, you can still do that. But most of the other things like cutting in the brakes and the like, they're just not there because those controls don't work and none of these are around. So it does work with rail driver, very pleased to say. So I'll put it in direction forwards. There's direction stopped and direction reverse as well. Direction reverse, direction backwards, sorry. All good. And we've got the big brake. So we'll release the big brakes. We'll set that to no effort at all. And we've got the little brake, which is already set on no effort with a small brake. All right then. Already got headlights on, but you can have bright lights and not so bright lights. And you can have your number lights on or off. Class lights. You can't do anything else with the controls though. Still got that massive horn that we like. You don't need to set the transition switch. In fact, I don't think you can. No, you can't. There we go. 
it looks and behaves like a toy train. Straight to Notch 8. Let's go. As we wind our way around the living room. There are, of course, the improbable track situations that kids would create. And you barely make it up these hills. But you always seem to somehow manage it. Now, you can pop other trains on this with Scenario Planner. It is fully functional track. So you can uh, do pretty much whatever you want. Reduce power. Yes, Master. We shall do that. Be prepared to stop. What does that mean? Go via the fireplace. Okay. Wow, it's so hot. Quite a nice set of flames, actually. Use the big brake to stop the train under the Christmas tree ahead. Okay. We should probably start slowing down then. We could have a little effort. A little bit more effort. Increasing effort. When it be past my stop I did, but that's okay. It's very forgiving. Now you have to unload the train, so let's just jump back in. I've got to get out to do this. Or you can use the uh, three camera if you like. Now to unload the presents, there's a little bit of a knack to it. You'd kind of think that you'd click on the present because that's what it says, but no, you don't. You have to come under here and you will find a place that you can click. So crouch down, let's see. There we go, unload present. Be a little bit slow now to uh, get around because we're crouched. Could just stand up again, I suppose. But you get in under the present, you'll find the unload point, and there it is. It's the same unload point that we had, if you remember it, on a Rosalini's Christmas train with Christmas presents. Point, there it is. And we have unloaded them all. Very good. With all the presents back out of the tree, this will make the, all the kids very happy, apparently. So let's just jump back in the train. I'm not sure if it actually wants us to do anything more in this scenario. No, it doesn't. Let's jump into another one, just so I can take you on a tour of the room. Like, let's explore on foot. Why not? Because I don't want to run all the scenarios for you, because they ruin the fun. You would never look at it yourself. So let's go to the trains, choose a route, the Holiday Express, timetable, on foot, and let's start at table, why not? 10 o'clock in the morning, sounds good to me. Well, we're up on top of the table. You can wander around all these things, you do run at toy speed, of course. You can climb up things, so wherever you need to go. Oh, collectible coin. climb up the ramps and you can get to places yeah that's just gonna fall off now the good news is if you fall off it's okay you just gradually fall down and it's all fine there's another coin over here let's go and look at an elevator these are kind of cool and you need these for some of the scenarios most of the track you can climb over but there's a few places where you can't to activate the elevator, you just get in really close to the buttons and push it. Just like you normally would with an elevator. <laughs> Excuse me. Having a coffee day. Clearly haven't drunk enough today. Up we go. Almost there. Here we go. We're up here with the TV. There's ways around to lots of the places around the room. Ooh, coin. It's a sticky one. Do we have to duck to get that? No, I've got to go around the other side. We'll go around the other side then. But anyway, I brought you up to this nice high point so we could see the room, but let's go get this coin, because, you know, we're here. Hey, coin. 
let's have a little look around the room. So you'll see that there's ramps to get between things, like the skateboard down there. There's some uh, car racing track. Takes you over the humps there, and you can get from piece of furniture to piece of furniture. There's elevators around the place that'll get you up here, and you can run across there and onto the ramp and up to the cupboard. There are stations in the middle. There's a game down here. I'm not even sure if there's a train with us coming here on foot. Can't get over this cable. Okay. Let's go around here then. Isn't that cute? And guess what? It's Train Simulator Console Edition. On what looks something like a uh, an old ColecoVision, I guess. That's such a high resolution, isn't it? How good's that? Looks like the training centre, I think. Going pretty quick, too. But anyway, it's a fun little bit of gameplay. Most of the scenarios are five or ten minutes, so a good engaging time for a, a young kid that you might have around the home at Christmas time who might want to play this. And it is dirt cheap in comparison to the other things that other routes I fell off, clearly. So if you think someone in your family might enjoy it, grab it and you can uh, put them to work driving trains around the living room. So that's all the introduction I'll give you on this. I will probably play the whole thing on my Christmas special, just because, you know, I can. There's lots of things that you can turn on and off. There's tons of stuff you can play with, and you get to run trains to your pretty much heart's content uh, through the scenarios and through free roam if you want to. And in off-the-rails mode in Scenario Planner, you can put other trains on here. And they do look very toyish when they come onto this route, I have to say. They've changed the renderings of them a bit. And you can also put these trains on any other route. Just because you can. Would you? I might have already done it. That's life. Anyway, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's fun. It's just silly. And it's just fun. And that's all it's for. It has no serious bones in it whatsoever. Just get it and have fun. All right. Have fun. See ya. Thank you.